if I keep looking down here, it's because I've made a nice list of things to talk about because I started filming, then I was rambling and no one wants that, no one likes that kind of talking crap but not really. On Monday I got offered a place into IEDT Animation which is the Institute of Art and Design Dunleary for animation and when I was applying and doing a portfolio for it I found it really I didn't think there was a lot of information out there from people who had done it before and it might have, I thought it might have been helpful to future portfolio or portfolio people if I made a video talking about my experience, the process and advice and to luckily I managed the loser points. I managed the portfolio points. Making this video I want to provide some comfort to maybe future people applying because I know a lot of people do apply and with there only being 30 places on the course it is a high chance you won't you could not get in but like that being said I haven't I don't know you I haven't seen your portfolio I haven't I don't know how to academically intelligent you are so don't be put off do not be put off the process is you have to put it down in your CAO number one if you want to get in like really that badly but like I don't see why you wouldn't put it number one if you're gonna make a portfolio anyway you put it number one on your CAO and um, and then closer to February you get an email from IEDT about the dates the times and the process of giving you your portfolio. So this year they, normally what they would do is your points would be added up by the interview and the portfolio, but this year they decided to make it that you go in, you hand in your portfolio and they give you feedback at the end. And the feedback is essentially so they can meet you and you can meet them and they can get an idea of what you're like. And I like. I, I thought it was a good idea at the time. I was a bit tired, sleep deprived because that is what happens when you have to make a portfolio in the middle of your leaving so you're close to the mocks, which is another problem. But at the same time, but anyway, this stops them from having to bring you in, call you in again for an interview, and so they can get an accurate like idea of you and the person behind the massive heavy portfolio. Um, so when I went in, handed in my portfolio at 8 a.m., came back at half three, they called me in and they were lovely. They were so sweet. They were really interested in what I had to say. And, but I, because me being, like sleep deprived I took it that anything they said was very uh, like condescending it wasn't it wasn't I was just being dramatic as usual but they were very like oh you were in six year three gold that you did in six year well done and I was like well done um I, I came out of it thinking I had failed which wasn't the case at all I got an email about a month later, telling me I'd got 600 out of 600, which shook me to my core. I was gagging. So, I'm making this video to try to provide comfort, even though I've talked shit the last 10 minutes. I'm trying to provide comfort or an idea for people about portfolio and how to make one. I, but like, don't just take me like my advice I'd go to like other people I actually do an animation course like preparation course which I did twice yeah I did it twice to kind of get a real feel and 
go to college and prove that I really wanted it, which helps. It does help getting in. It's expensive though. I will, not expensive, but like about 300 euro. But it will prove to them that you are really willing and you have an experience and you know what animation is and you're getting yourself into. But I go to all their open days, ask all the questions. Don't leave until you've spoken to everyone. And don't try to follow a strict pattern because that pattern they will have seen multiple times. And if you can think way outside the box without like painting with pig blood or something and prove that even if you're not the best artist like myself, I wouldn't claim to be an amazing like technically, but I think what stood me out is that I had different ways of approaching things. You'll see in a minute when I show this off. Show it off. Um, but don't be worried that you're not good enough because you are. Don't be afraid you're not good enough because you are. If you put in the effort, it will show. And that being said, I will show you my effort now. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, oh, if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments. <laughs> let me know. You, you can find me on Twitter either. Um, I'll put my Twitter in this description. Um, you have to help because having gone through it and how difficult it was. I'd love to make it a little bit easier for someone else. I mean, here we go. Right, oh this is upside down. Figure it out. So my portfolio has about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 pieces, two sketchbooks, and two, well, uh, it's kind of one um, life drawing sketchbook together, like that. See, I kind of stuck them together using pins and there's my other sketchbook and I kind of split the sketchbooks into into two separate ones one for kind of bigger ideas concept of photography like drawing concept ideas basically it, this was a multimedia canvas that I got in art and hobby because I'm stupid but uh this one was meant to be kind of like the artsier one and then this one I filled with character designs and concept ideas oh there you go storyboard concept ideas character designs and illustrations because it was just regular paper in this one and I couldn't really deal with multi like paint and stuff but um yeah I might go through the sketchbooks first I'll go through the sketchbook first because you use your sketchbooks to kind of fill it, to show off your ideas, where your ideas came from, but also it's a better representation of how good you are and how you react to your environments and stuff like that. Um, so, first things first, I covered my sketchbook in coffee receipts because I'm a basic white girl who goes to Starbucks a lot and it was basically like this is the amount of money I spent on coffee because of this portfolio so um and they reacted to it that they, they were like you drink a lot of coffee don't you I was like um it's an understatement to be honest um all right so I started this this time last year and you will see from portfolio how like beyond um, how much I grew throughout doing this portfolio. Oh, that's not really a foot in, like, there it is. Um, you'll see how quickly I developed 
as, oh, as an artist maybe I'd say. Um, I spent a lot of time on the sketchbooks because I felt like that was where my stuff was stronger. And I was told that I went to a portfolio, like I applied for a PLC and she was like, make sure you st like you should really fill your your actual big pieces with what you do in your sketchbooks because it's much more interesting. And I took her advice and God bless her advice because it helped, clearly. Um, so I did this during the animation um, course. I uh, made three friends there, shout out to you guys. Um, and Faith drew us, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna draw us, the meme team. And I liked this style, so I threw it in because you can throw anything into your sketchbooks, literally anything, it doesn't matter. If you feel like they're empty, go back and find some old stuff that you did and just stick it in because the more the merrier. But don't overpack your portfolio because it's too heavy. Um, I imagine start, like, you need to characterize, I characterized the Starbucks lady because, you know, Starbucks coffee says, anyway, and um, that was that. These were, um, life drawings that I did of my mom when she was fishing and stuff but the idea behind it was that um I'll spin it this way that makes more sense there we go um I kept drawing people and then trying to make characters out of them from storyboard designs because part of this portfolio is that you have to do at least two portfolios portfolios oh my god um storyboards and they're a necessity, you have to do them. So I had no problem coming up with the ideas for storyboards. It was executing them, that was my problem. But this is the first idea ideas for the first um, storyboard I did. Um, I went to a storyboarding class that was free in the Irish Museum of Modern Art, Emma. Um, and the guy there, he was like, I want you to make a story out of Humpty Dumpty. So my concept was um, uh, that Humpty Dumpty was a hipster, loved his cronuts, a bit of a dickhead. Um, and he, as he sees a nest with some eggs in it, goes to take a selfie for his millions Instagram followers. And it originally started off as six things, but obviously that wasn't big enough to fill an A2 page. So, uh, I'll get it out now. I ended up, I did a lot of storyboarding, like concept ideas for this because I was just, like I really liked the idea. It was my first solid idea. Um, and you don't, what I did is I printed off like storyboard templates and I cut them out so see here I cut them out and uh, it just saves you time I started cutting them out like this size in just regular paper and it took so long and it's not worth it it's not and they don't look for your storyboards to be very very polished and really beautiful and works of art because they're just storyboards and storyboards are originally just meant to be like ideas to help you get through and um, so that was my original idea for the storyboard and well, where is it and da, 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 there it is oh god i'm gonna have to move the whole portfolio shit i didn't think this through did i right Oh shit! Aw, oh, and my suffering. Anyway. Um. There we go. So, you can't see that. Ah. Oh. There. Yeah. Yeah, you can see that. Right. So, it ended up being 22 panels long. And I named it Deadly Shot because I the thing I'm most proud of out of these is the names of my storyboards because they're hilarious and awful and they probably cringed when they read it but you know what 
it worked. Um, so my concept ideas for this were originally that he was sitting on a ledge and he just kind of fell off the wall. Ha ha ha, Humpty Dumpty. But it went from that to skateboarding on his penny board, gets a cronut, climbs to the tree, um, breaks her eggs, this bird's eggs, and this is irrelevant. You don't care about the story. You really don't. But see, these aren't like the like most amazing drawings in the world. But they did have, see, in this one here, I showed that the frame of the shot would have been zooming in on the bird's angry face. They look for you to use like actual filming like techniques. So this would have been a sweeping shot here. This, like they look for wide shots, close ups, very close ups. And if you can explain that down here, they'll really look well upon it. Um, I'm sure there's a tutorial out there about storyboards. I think Draw With Jazza has one on YouTube, you should look at him, he's cool, I like him. Um, but also go to their open days and ask the people there, they'll probably help you even more than I can because, you know, it's great, I love APT. And another thing I did, I fill another page of drawings was, oh, I, I think this is too dark, can you see, can you? There we go, that's much better. Oh shit, I should have done that originally. Fuck, oh well. Um, so I threw in some concept, I, uh, character designs from the original design of him straight up into like actual angles, the same thing. And I originally thought this wasn't failed enough, but they seemed to like it. Um, you, add, you can add like emotions and different outfits and how you would have seen, how he could have dressed himself, you know. Just make sure there's enough variety, variety so that they know what you're at. Anyway, back to this. Um, so after that, another idea I had. My dad's really into his um, gardening. And someone stole his massive pumpkin. This pumpkin was like nine stone. Anyway, the vegans had an idea that they stole that. That the vegans stole my dad's pumpkin. I threw it. But I couldn't figure out how to flesh it out, I think. So I kind of left it. So, and I didn't, I was also afraid that someone would be vegan within the, uh, people looking at my portfolio and I really didn't want to offend anyone with that so this was a 21 pilot for reference I did this a while ago like see these I would have done just like from my camera roll I just a thing I did all the time was go through okay the camera keeps stopping it keeps not filming anymore and it's starting to bug me um this is the page I just filled with random drawings that I did. This was on the way back from IET open day. Um, my friend fell asleep, so I was like, I'm using you for my portfolio to my advantage, deal with it. Um, another storyboard idea I had was, the more you fall in love with people, the more flowers that grow on you, but I didn't do that one. Um, what I did here is I drew her, uh, the flower growing out of one of her piercings in um, Snapchat and I printed it off and I stuck it in. I did this at 3am when I couldn't sleep one day. It uh, it was just like collage with using sticky notes. Um, I don't know where I was going with it but I did it. Anyway. It's upside down because I'm an Egypt. Um, um, this was very... I was stressed out so I just kind of started drawing people again try make it 
as not relatable, don't make it hashtag relatable, clickbait, you know. But like if they can find the human within it, the more likely look upon fair favourably upon you. Um I have a lot of animals and this works out in my favour. I have four dogs, a cat, a bird, and fish. So one of my dogs has three legs, so that's where I started the idea for my second storyboard. Um, and I also had, a, also, it just meant I had a lot of references to work off. Um, uh, the second storyboard, I'll call it. Oh. So, this storyboard was much, I didn't put as much effort into it as I did this one because it wasn't necessary. They'd seen I could do it in this one, but I didn't add any colour. But, get it? Mission Impossible. Oh, I'm so funny. Um, it was basically just that the dog was trying to get on the couch with her three legs and from her perspective. I threw in this page, this piece is definitely not my strongest one, but I've been told that you're only as strong as your worst piece. So I basically just took a load of drawings that I've done of the dogs and filled this page with it. And it's messy, it's not, I'm not happy with it in any sense or form. I wouldn't recommend doing it, but I yeah, let's move on because I'm not getting sad on that page. One thing I'd always recommend is taking your sketchbook everywhere you go with you. You can always feel like on the bus, I spend a lot of time on the bus, so just draw on the bus 24-7. Um, and I also always try to show where your pieces came from. So I originally started this is the first sketch I did in my house, which is the very first piece of my portfolio. Um, that's, I don't know what that was. Oh yeah, I drew this in 2015. Awful, I know. And I decided to re redo it. Um, redo the concept, and I think they liked it. I'm not too sure. I, like, they didn't go into too much detail about the sketchbooks. Um, I'm a huge fan of drag race, so I was like, what if all my guy friends were drag queens? And I thought it was going to be a storyboard, you know, but I just didn't bother. I was like, I have two in it already. You can do more than two. I'll probably like it if you do more than two, but it's a lot of effort. It's a lot of time you need to put it in. Um, I went to the Trinity Life Drawing a few times. That's where I got all of these life drawings and um, even there it's part of their art I don't know what it's called you can google it it's about 12 euro each time you do it unless you're a member then I think it's a fiver but I'm not a member of Trinity clearly but um yeah these this is a good way to show that I had done more life drawing than was shown in my portfolio. They really like life drawing. Like life drawing is, it has to be really evident that you can and you were willing to do it. These are all from the IDT courses that they did. I did an animation and the guy Aiden there would do it every, I think he did it with us twice. And I found it so helpful. It helped me fill, fill up so much. And also he gave you criticism and it helped you get better for if you did get in. Like I can't, this is, I think this is the first time I ever like live drew. I think that's the word, I don't know. Um, and it's just, I really love life drawing and it helps. That's that. You've seen those then. I have to go through it. Um, so more life drawing. And I always try to, I, I put captions beside a lot of things. You don't really need to. But I did it the night before anyway, just to kind of ease my anxieties. Um, I started drawing on flashcards because I don't, 
I'm a terrible procrastinator, I get distracted by everything, so instead of studying, I was lifeline. Um, Neil Smith, shout out. I, again, just going through my camera roll and drawing photos I could find of people. These are, I bought a little sketchbook in, maybe it was Tiger or So Stream Green in Swords. And it was about this. It wasn't bigger than, yeah, it was this big. Like, it was amazing to take on the bus with me and then just keep, to just draw. Because like, I was on the bus almost every single day. So I didn't, there was always a point of being able to draw my break, like, with these things, whatever they're called. And they always, I don't know, I think they're one of my favorite things that I did, the life runs and those things. Um, don't be afraid to put in photography. If you take photos, um, put them in. It takes up space. It shows you have an idea of how camera works because part of animation is film. Like it's a film that you draw, obviously. But uh, they, very much, I don't know. It, it's also a part of me, I do a lot of, I used to, I don't do that much anymore. Um, these were expression drawings from July of last year. Um, about 30 seconds worth. This was a still life I did in school that I just cut up, I was like, to try fill up space. Um, I didn't fill both my sketchbooks. I just didn't, because I had two, there wasn't a huge need for it and I also had the life drawing, so don't be afraid to not be able to fill it. This is more life drawing in IEDT. This, I did a bigger piece. It was a digital drawing I'd already done um, of 21 Pilots because it was the anniversary, I think, of their self title. Oh, shit their self-titled album and I already had this piece done. I loved it, it's one of my favourite things. Um, and I decided, oh you can't, you, you won't be able to see the whole thing, anyway. It was one of my uh, favourite pieces that I've ever done. So I decided to get it printed A2. It was expensive, hurt me a little bit inside. But it wasn't my photo so I credited the photographer obviously and I did a concept sketch to show development basically um, it's always good to show development I have like just take in mind that I did this not all by myself and I also had advice from a lot of the IET people because I kept going um, so don't take my word as gospel. I can't be responsible for my advice being bad. This is just my experience and yeah. Anyway, um, oh, towards like the last, I think it was the last hour before I fell asleep for an hour um, the night before, I just started drawing like literally blind drawing everything in my room um 10 second snapshots so one of my pieces was that um i so i think the saturday before it was due i sent out a mass snapchat basically begging people to send me snapchats of themselves pulling faces if i could find it now um and that was a really uh, quick way for me to um, fill my... Where did it go? I swear to God I put that in. Um, there it is. Okay. It showed that I could do things quickly. Um, with minimal reference and it was also just a quirky way of doing things and I just I just put this in the night before five more people sent me snapchats 
and I just kind of did it to again tie these in together. I always try to tie my sketchbook in with my portfolio just to every time I keep it keeps anyway we're moving on to the other sketchbook. It's basically a sketchbook tour. I love watching those they make me very like oh people are so talented sometimes. Um, right sketchbook. So this was a more I don't want to say serious but yeah with life drawings. So this was done in Trinity. I went to Trinity I think twice. Um, I I, one of the things I was like kept doing was taking my party, my party, my camera to parties and just taking photos of people. And uh, that just worked out in my favor so much that I had so many references to draw from. And um, I was never like stealing from anyone else. And it was just, um, yeah, it worked out. So these are mostly studies. This is, this was my main piece, I feel like. I feel like it was like, it set me apart from most people. Um, here, I took this photo and it was one of my favorite photos I've ever taken. And it's in my portfolio three times, I think. And I decided to get a lot of photos that I'd taken of people and make line drawings out of them in blue, in red, and in black. And the idea was that I'd draw them uh, in basically interconnected, intertwined line drawings. And in my head it was like symbolism of like friendship and happiness and it's all tied together and blah 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 blah. But uh, I drew them on tracing paper and moved it a little bit so it was a bit off center. And so you could flip through them. And it's basically like a 3D drawing based off the little like all the glasses you used to get to watch 3D movies. I love this piece, not gonna lie, I'm gonna turn my own mind. I like it. It's one of my favourite things ever. Um, I was proud that I came off it. So um, it was also a lot of my portfolio had motion in it to kind of that was something uh, one thing I didn't do was the NCAD brief. I had no plans to apply to NCD because they didn't have animation and the brief it just didn't like push me in any right direction so I didn't particularly want to do it and the only course I applied to in IDT was animation so they kind of got that I was like very serious about it. See there's that photo again. That's awful. Never again do all of that. I did that this time last year and I regret everything about it. Um, these are two drawings my sister did in pencil. I, this, it was November and I sat outside in my garden and I started doing watercolour of a tree outside that was all beautifully coloured. But it got too cold. It was about minus one degrees. I was out there. Um, more life drawing. This was from March of 2016. So I did this, oh, there, where, there it is. I did this in my sketchbook and one of the teachers in my school, um, probably one of the best teachers I've ever met in my life, amazing man. He just, he really wanted me to make this a bigger piece, like to just cut it out of my um, sketchbook and stick it down. But but I, I was like, okay, yeah, I'll just take it out. And he, but then he didn't want me to get rid of any of these. So I was like, okay, to find the nice happy medium, I made it bigger. And I think what this showed was I could replicate. I don't know. I'm trying to find reasons why they accepted me here. But oh, I can't, I can't see. 
I had a lot of sticky notes in my room and I basically just made a nice colourful piece out of it. I need to stop talking like that. I do it when I'm really awkward. Like um, This was part of another concept idea that I did. But I never, like I think I'm gonna make a storyboard out of it. Oh yeah, the flowers for every time someone loves you or something. Um, but I never did it, but I liked painting on myself with acrylic. It was nice. Um, I used just acrylic plate, black paper. I just tried to use as many mediums as I could to try. I did it new. This was the original um, of the other piece with the line work, but I used weird tracing paper and the like, greasy paper basically, and it just wasn't opaque enough. You couldn't see the black under it. Um, part of um, I was given a task by Bray, which was a portfolio course in case I didn't get in this year. That um, she, you had to combine two objects, natural and organic. So I live by a cemetery. So I was like, what if mushrooms were made out of graves were made out of mushrooms or something like that? And headstones, sorry, not graves. And so that was, oh, you can even see it. There you go. So that's that. Oh, my camera's running out of battery. Why is the battery so shit? Um, so yeah, then I just filled it with um, photographs. And then, yeah, that was it. That was my two sketchbooks. So the rest of the video is pretty um stuff. This is another motion piece I did. Um these were photos I took on 35 mm film in 2015. So I took them on a wheel so you could twist them and rotate them. And basically it was like down memory lane kind of thing. Um so yeah. And it was like looking through the eye of See, a lot of these I got for, they broke it. Oh my god, they broke my wheel. Oh, what snakes? Oh, well. anyway, doesn't matter now. But yeah, I rotated it. It must have not been a sound design for it to break. But anyway. Um, you've seen this one and this one. So it's where it's front, I guess. This was of my house, just a watercolour I did. Um, I liked it. I was going to frame it for my dad's birthday, but I never did. Oops. Um, you can put stuff in that you've done in school. Like, they don't look down on it in any sense or form. Like, I did this still life in school as a practice, and I liked it, so I threw it in. Um, this was a photo I took of my friend Maria. Love Maria, shout out to that for you. Um, and I just used black ink on uh, acrylic paper. And um, I liked I liked the style and um, I loved the photo. It's not a very accurate representation of how she looks, but you know what? It is fine, I think. It's not that bad. Anyway, um, more life drawing. It never ends. Uh, like I'd put your best life drawing in the actual portfolio and then make sketchbooks out of the rest of it. Like these are the best ones I did and I really like them. These were ones I did in school as part of the Leaving Cert art course was that you had to do 15 minute life drawing. That's not it anymore actually. Uh, it's like a portfolio thing now that you can do but we had to do like 15 minute life drawings and 30 minute life drawings and these were two that I did that I was from I did these for the mocks I think yeah I did yeah so this is my 
mocks I got. I didn't do well in the mocks, but I did enough good in the actual And um, these are cat studies of Tim, my cat. And these were some studies of my multiple animals. Um, I just took. This was part of a poster that I did for uh, leaving so Oh, it's gone too dark. Um, part of life drawing studies. I first, yeah, I just studied my bird a lot because she's nice to draw, she's pink. Um, and I just threw in my other animals for a nice uh, reference. And then you've seen the storyboards. And these were part of the animations I did in IEDT and this just showed that I had gone and I could prove that I had gone and I attached the showreel up here, they give you a showreel at the end but I just, they didn't open it, they didn't look at it, it's all they needed, I proved that I went and that I was interested. These were photos I took. Um, I got, I went the Sunday before, the night before, and went and got um, A4 prints of these photos. And like photos that I really wanted to prove that I could do. And these were to do with motion. And these, like the two of them had themes. One thing I'd say is keep your portfolio in sections. So um, at the beginning I had it was just kind of like studies from life, if you get me. And these, then I put life drawings together. So kind of like that's life drawing, life drawing, study. And my two storyboards are together. My animations are together. And my photographs are together. It just gives it nice flow, if that's a word. And they always say put your best at the front and your second best at the back or maybe the other way around I don't know I don't know why they say that I think it leaves an impression um, and these are more life drawing um, I did this in on the Saturday before it was due it's not great I'm looking at it now it's not great but it's Fine. Oh, did this in Trinity the Saturday before before it was due because I just wanted more stuff to put in. Didn't feel like I had enough. I had enough. But like, and I did this. Um, in I went on holidays last August and I filmed it. I not filmed it. I drew it. I drew it. I have no words. And I just sat there because there was no internet. It was awful. So I uh, don't better to do than fill my portfolio. Um, so it was a beautiful view in fairness. Didn't do it that much just but you know, it's fine. Um, I put my emotion pieces together in the same uh, place, I guess. This and this one. And then these were, I think I just put the other few at the back, like the colourful different ones that they might find interesting. So yeah, that's my whole portfolio, my whole life for the last few months. You see, so all of my portfolio like I was finishing it the weekend off. I wouldn't recommend. I I am a very I'm a huge procrastinator. So even so, if I can get it done, you can get it done. No problem. It's all about volume and stay to yourself. Don't think that oh, Ellen's gone done this many things. So I have to go. No. You do what you do and stick by it and be confident in it and they will respond to it. Um, I made sure it was personal to me. I don't think that you have to put loads of like cartoons or like developed storyboards or like massive portraits in it. You don't. 
if you like drawing characters, fill it with characters. Like, make sure they know that that's what you like. If you like doing portraits, fill it with portraits. If you like gesture drawings, fill it with gesture drawings. But give them enough idea that you can do everything. Show off what you can do. Acknowledge what you can't do. Even in the interview, if they ask you, what are your weaknesses? Acknowledge it, but be like, I'm so excited to like learn how to do it and become better in it. And it just shows that you don't think you're good at everything, but at the same time, you have your strengths. Everyone has their strengths. Clearly my strengths are people and shoulders and emotions, which is something I'm really interested in and I think is, I think they noticed that and they appreciated that. And yeah, that's all I have to say really about Le Portfolio. If, again, if you have any questions, if you enjoyed it, you can subscribe if you'd like. I'm hoping to put out more videos, maybe just edit even, videos of drawings or might put up a show reel at the end of the year, who knows. I'm so excited about this. I'm very excited about this, not gonna lie. Start September 11th, I think, that's the induction week and I honestly can't wait. Anyway, that's it. I don't know how to sign off on this, so I'm just gonna end it. Bye.